Hey YouTube, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the VRAM Monster, The Last of Us, for PC. And we're going to be comparing it to the RTX 4070 and the Helio 16 I reviewed this year, and in the RTX 4080 and the Legion 7 I currently have. Um, now, of course, the Legion 7 does have a slight advantage in that it does have a not only a 4080 um, and 32 gigabytes of RAM, but it also has an i9-13-9... 100x 980 i don't know it's got the i9 instead of the i7 um but that's just kind of reality i don't think you're gonna be able to find a 4080 that's paired with an i7 or a ryzen 7 you know um if you bump up to that 4080 it's pretty much always going to come mandatory paired with that higher top tier um, processor chip yeah so that was the 4070 at 1080p and next up this is going to be the 4080 at 1080p you can see right there, uh, even 1080p high using 7.5 gigabytes of VRAM. Um, now it's also worth noting that I recorded this on the machines themselves, screen captured it, so that could also cause a small hit to performance, but normally it's not much, especially with NVIDIA cards, they're just so good at encoding. So the 4070 averaged 68 frames, and the 4080 only did four frames better at 72. And this is 1080p Ultra. You can see, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It, it doesn't, it's not always consistent, but this, that little explosion sequence right there can really cause a hit to the FPS, cause some pretty significant 1% lows. Um, but you know, it's not always. It's not every time. I could do this three times um, with the settings set to ultra and maybe one out of three times it's gonna cause that big kind of lag in performance. That's just kind of how this game is. It's definitely not the most optimized, even on some higher tier software that, or hardware that's otherwise not having a problem running it. And here's the RTX 4080 now. And you can see right there, yeah, it handled that explosion a lot better. So at ultra settings, the 4070 averaged 58 frames and the 4080 averaged 68 frames. All right, this is going to be 1440p. Uh, we're gonna look at the 4070 first at high settings. And here's the 4080 at 1440p high. And we can see right here, explosion causes it to take a big piss. Our 1% low drops down to 23. So like I said, it's definitely kind of random um, how well that scene right there renders in. 35, all the way back up to 55 frames per second now that it's got that little mess over with. So it actually doesn't do a whole lot better than the 4070, but I think if we ran it again, we would probably see better, a bigger gap. So if I ran it again, it would probably, that little stutter wouldn't happen there. 
so the 4070 we're not going to try it at ultra settings of 1440p what we are going to do here is run it at high settings with dlss on and you can see yeah the dlss makes a huge difference we went from what was it, like 60 frames up to now we're seeing close to 90 frames per second and way smoother on that explosion right there the dlss definitely really kind of helps even out those stuttery moments in the game where you would see your 1% lows really take a hit and notice uh, a staggering performance. And here's the RTX 4080 at 1440p ultra settings. Yeah, you can see on ultra settings there, it, it actually, it was pretty, the explosion was pretty smooth that time, no real drop in frame rate. Very uh, RNG. So at ultra settings, that's an average of 48 frames. 1% lows of 37. Not quite what I would play at, but I must playable. But let's see if we turn DLSS on. Um, this is 1440p ultra settings with DLSS turned on. See, we're getting like 70-ish frames per second. And yeah, that explosion, very smooth. And taking a look at all of our results at 1440p here. Uh, at high settings, the 4070 got 47 frames per second, the 4080 got 54 frames per second. Turning on DLSS made a huge difference, 4070 got 75 frames, and with DLSS at Ultra, the 4080 got 67 frames. That's all I got, thanks for watching.